Welcome back, Mod Sauce Drinkers. I'm Clobberstomp, and we're playing the Mod Sauce Saucy McSaucerson pack. It's pretty awesome. So, I've been away for a little bit um, because I kind of wanted to get through doing a lot of stuff, but I figured I found this cool little farm here, and then I was walking a little bit further, and I found a village. Look at this! Sweet. So, the reason I wanted to show this is because, um, I'll show you. I'll show you why I'm, sh I'm showing you this. That right there, our smeltery. Mm-hmm. As you can see, I've already got some Tinker's tools. Um, I found some steel chest plate as I've been adventuring. Um, I did, I've made all my Tinker stuff. Oh, hey buddy. What do you have? Ooh. Eight emeralds for a Kapoke Kapok sapling. We're going to check that out. Um, so I'm going to take all of this stuff because I don't want to make it. So this is awesome. And, uh, spawn is way that way. Like a lot. So I'm going to pick this all up and then I will get you guys updated on what we've been doing at spawn. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, we are back and I've got all of our seared bricks, two casting basins, and a casting table. Two casting tables. I found some other things on the way. but So here is spawn. Before it used to be this ruins, I smashed it all down, and yeah, we, we we got rid of that. And I made this look really cool. I made some of these chiseled bricks, and kind of made it look kind of a little bit more fancy than it was. Cleared some of this out um, over there. I'll show you a little glimpse. Phantom Strikers made it, so we're not going to show you any more of that, because I think he might start his series soon. I don't want to give anything away. Um, we are up to the nether portal, and behind that is the twilight forest. Let's go take a look. And I have to give a special thanks to, uh, Jericraft. I, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. If I'm not, I'm sorry, buddy. Um, so we got this set up here. Yeah, Jericraft, um, because I used one of, he, he does this medieval uh, creative building series, and they're all badass, they're so cool, so I decided to do one. Um, I believe this is the Restaurant Bar by Jericraft, he's fucking amazing. So, um, I switched up some of the blocks, and this is where we're at, so I used to have a little hut right here, I got rid of the hut, upgrade, bam, upgrade. So, give you a little tour, kind of go around and around. I found some ender seeds in, ender lily seeds in a, in a dungeon, so we got those going. And I made dark wood, and we got colored bricks. I'll show you guys how to make those in a minute. Uh, I kind of go around, we got our sweet little chimney action going on. It's a really sweet build, so thanks to Jaircraft. I'll put a link to his channel in there. Check him out. He's, like, the dude's a wizard, so check him out. He's really cool. He's got a lot of great designs to make your stuff not look so derpy. So I think this looks pretty boss. He used different colored bricks and different stuff like that, but I'm trying to go for a little bit more of a more of a modern medieval kind of look, and I didn't like th with the texture pack I have. I didn't really like how it looked. So um, we've got these growth craft trees. Um, I think we covered planting these before, so let's get an apple. If you take an apple, get the core, and then you can take the core and jam it right down in like you would be placing a seed. So we'll just put that there, and boom, apple sapling. And it'll grow up to be apple trees, and you can punch these down, and apples galore. Woohoo! Sweet. Um, what else have we gotten to? Yeah, Jaircraft, boss, check them out. Uh, we've been collecting a lot of, uh, blackberry bushes, melons, oh, I see Phantom, he's creeping, 
There he is right there. Uh, we got some pumpkins. We've got barley. Uh, the reason we made all the barley is because we can take the wheat. Did I do it already? Here, I'll show you what we can do. It's bit a little bit better than the... Uh, let's replant. You can take the barley, put the barley in here to make barley flour, and we'll do that with a couple of them. I only need about eight, so we don't want to waste a thing of coal, so... Let's switch. Boom, boom, boom. And then we'll put these back in the bin. So we're going to start building that supply there. No, not blueberries. You twit. Um, so yeah, we've been gathering. We got monster jerky going. Oh, we covered that a little bit in the last time. We've got some some drying racks here uh, made with Tinker's Construct. You can look those up. Pretty easy to make. Just made with three slabs across the top. And it makes drying racks. Boom. Put uh, jerky or monster flesh on there and it turns into monster jerky. You can eat it and not get poisoned. Pretty boss. So let's put this in here. This will smelt up to make bread. Boom, boom, boom. Come on. You can do it, bread. Bread. Boom. So pretty awesome. Good way to get food and fuel. Uh, let's let's go down. Yeah, we want to we sleep. Get it to night daytime again. It was a long journey. <laughs> um, so yeah, here's kind of the rest of the build. It's kind of up here. Got like a little balcony action going on. It's a pretty sweet view, huh? Look at that. Awesome. Come on. Don't want no mobs coming in here. Bam. So I was able to kill a few endermen to get their pearls, and I made some elevator blocks. Conserves on space. We've got the super stick puncher 48,000. Uh, for doubling ore, pretty awesome. I've got to the point where I've made sterling generators. Let's cover this. Ender. So, sterling generator, not too hard to make. Some basic stuff, so regular stone bricks, some basic gears, you can take a look, sticks and cobblestone. Furnace, you know how to make a furnace. Piston, you know how to make a piston. So I made two of those. And then we made a alloy smelter, which is a little bit more difficult to make. You need to get a good, healthy amount of iron. Put the cauldron, U-shape, upside down pants, machine casing. Not too difficult, these basic. So you needed gold and copper, so I had to get some gold and copper. And we made a few of those. And then we also made a sag mill. So we made flint by grinding up some grindstone or uh, gravel. Uh, same type of system. So I made those, and the reason is Ender IO. Uh, we talked about this near the end of the series last time. Uh, pretty, pretty awesome. So I really want to start doing more of this stuff. So I've already gathered. Actually, before we get to that, here's my downstairs. Here's my tinkers. Already started tinkers. Wasn't gonna bore you with the basic starting stuff. Great. We got diamonds. We've we've got everything already. So. I wanted to get a bunch of gathering out of the way. So we've made coal powder, we've made obsidian. And the reason we are making this is because we want dark steel. So let's take some iron. Let's take a couple more just because. All right, six, that works. We're gonna put this in here. We're gonna let this smelt up. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna turn it into dark steel. Reason being is this armor sucks. No good. So, the armor we're going to make, once this smelts up, is... I found this... Whoa! Well, they got a little crazy with my button clicking. Settle down. Settle down. Um, look at this stuff. Dark Helm. 385. We hold the shift button, and it's got all these vibrant crystal levels, anvil upgrades, uh, night vision. So, it looks like you can you kind of level these up. So, I'm pretty excited about this. I don't... How do we make these? Shaped crafting. Pretty awesome. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be making this stuff. So, this seems like pretty decent um, starting game armor and... Oh, geez. Look at that, 1500 right off the bat? 
Wow. Some pretty cool stuff here. So we definitely want to get at least the armor. And we're going to do that today. So, all right. Let's, let's start crafting up our armor. The boots. Whoa. What's going on? Oh, that was creepy. Let's make the helm. Let's make the pants. And this. So and what you see is I'm just right clicking and holding. Boom. Let's get rid of this crappy armor. Upgrade. Oh, and it looks super cool. Sweet. Oh, check it out. I got another hat. Foam finger hat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dig it. Did I keep it on? Is it on? Oh my god, that's awesome. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So, awesome. <laughs> now we've got a foam finger head for head. Foam <laughs> finger head. So let's put this stuff in here. That's for later. What else can we start making now that we're really into it? Well, that, that didn't take too long. So maybe we should make an anvil. I don't think I actually have that much. Well, I've got some stacks here. Let's see. Can we make an anvil? Do we have enough, people? I need... I need three blocks. Ooh, that's a lot. That's not too bad. Okay. Here we go. Boom! Where should we put this guy? <laughs> Do we have anything in there? Let's move this crafting station. Put it right here. Oh, burp. Ooh, nice. Let's take off our helmet. Let's see what we can do here. Dark helm. What's a dark helm? Hmm. We don't need to repair anything, so I wonder if there's... We're going to have to figure out how to upgrade this. Anvil upgrades. Empowered sound locator and night vision. Anvil upgrades. Maybe the upgrades are here. Hardcore Ender expansion. Are these considered to be upgrades? Ooh. Oh, that's a bummer. Hmm. Well, that's such a bummer. I don't know where these upgrades are. If you guys know what they are, if these are it, let me know, and then we can really get these upgraded. I'd like to know, because I'm not an expert in Ender IO. I know a lot, but obviously there's some changes and some new stuff here, so that's pretty cool. So I'm excited to work on it. Awesome. I guess the next piece, since we've got some time, is... I guess let's make a smeltery. And I think we could put that here because this really isn't being used for anything else. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so... Boom, boom, boom. <sighs> Alright. This is how you make a basic smeltery. Oh, we're going to have to make the... Oh, I'm going to be able to lay it all out, but I'm not going to be able to do anything with it, unfortunately. It's kind of a bummer, because I don't have the controller yet. Let's see how bad this is to make. So we need that guy. Seared bricks, grout, ugh, sand, clay block, and gravel. Let's see, do we have all this? Maybe we'll get lucky, guys. Let's see. We've got sand. I'm not 
haven't seen any clay. Oh, clay. Clay, sweet. Do we have gravel? Did I miss it? We have gravel. Oh, excellent. Let's make a bunch of this. Sear it all up. Half stacks. Perfect. Should be plenty. Let that cook up. Um, I'll let that cook up and we'll be right back. Alright guys, and I finished up all that gr grout to make seared bricks. For those of you that don't know, we covered this uh, in last, last series, but uh, Tinkers is pretty awesome. You can make these things up. You get a book. Let's show you. Ooh. Bummer. Um, where do I put my book? Uh, here we go. You get materials in you. Alright, and in materials in you, you can read through this. It tells you how to make patterns, and how to make a stencil table, and a part crafter. And you need all of these, so make every single one of them. Tool station, and this is the upgraded one, which now that we have enough, we will make. Uh, that's how you make your drying racks or berry bushes, you can make a lot more things, but here's the smeltery controller. Does it tell you to make it? No, no, no. That's okay. But yeah, read through that. You make a tool station and you can make tools with um, all these parts. You put a part in here like this and you can put, I don't have any cobble, but you put cobble in here and it'll make this part. Um, and then this will tell you what parts you need. So if you want to make, let's say, a repair you can make these items and then make the repair so pretty cool um, let's lay this out uh, so the first thing you gotta make is these seared bricks um, if you haven't made them you have to get grout and smelt grout and you make grout by this recipe one two three or you can do the blocks which gets you eight but to me this actually does more nah it does right about the same I think it does exactly the same and we'll put this up here like this perfect we're gonna have to put some sort of top on that so nothing get in here um, and we need to make the smeltery controller which is made like that boom we need a tank which I need some glass for glass let's get some glass alright nope wrong one this one okay so eight seared bro blocks bricks put this guy in the middle boom tank for your lava and then a drain where is the drain there it is drain so six and then the faucet which is three do we have nine left we do so six drain perfect and where's those bricks there we go one two three drain perfect let's put these in our inventory mm -hmm. so I'm gonna put the controller here put this guy here here look at that oh animation BAM animation station so now if you click on that you get some items so the next thing we're gonna do is put our drain in we're gonna put that here put your faucet on it boom and we can put our casting table like that and we can fill this up shift click and shift click oops there we go excellent so this might not be the best way to do this because I think I'm gonna have to move this out one just because let's take a look at the back side of the house when you want to go up 
it's going to go right into the side of our house here. Um, and maybe that's not too bad, but I think what I'll do is I'll push this out one. Yeah, I'm going to break this down and push it back one more just because it'll be better because then I can go up and it'll just be against the building. I can keep the pillars and the facade on the building. And it'll, it'll still look nice. So I think I'll push this up because you can, the, the higher you make these, the more stuff you can put in it. So I think that's pretty good. Um, we don't need the casting basins because we're not going to be making blocks anytime soon. But one thing that we'd probably do is put another... We can probably put a another drain here, and we can put them on the outsides and do all kinds of fun stuff. But um, mainly what we'll end up doing is we need to actually make... Oh, I don't remember how to do it. Let's see. I think we got to upgrade this. We need volume 2. Let's see what volume 2 does. There we go. This is what we're looking for. So this tells you how to make all the stuff. Um, but what we need to get to is does this work? This tells you all the stuff that you can make. Whoa! What's that guy? Uh, let's do this one more time and get the mighty smelting. Sweet! This is what we're looking for. Here's what you need bare minimum to make what you need. There you go, just like we did. But this is what we need first. We need to make aluminum brass. And the reason we need to make aluminum brass is so we can do this, form casts. So let's get to that page. This is the book that tells you how to make all this stuff too. Pretty fancy. So let's see. Did I? I just clicked past it, didn't I? Yeah, here we go. So, three aluminum and one copper. Let's see if we have that. Do we have three aluminum? I've got copper. I don't have any aluminum. So, we're going to have to save that for another day. Oh, look at this. I do. Can we smelt that up? Will it work? Oh, I can't because I need a redstone furnace or better. So we're not there yet. So, yep, I'm going to have to make some more machines. And I think, yeah, we'll wrap it there. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace. Peace out.